remember the uh, controls for BGB. I think they're S and A. Yeah, it seems like it. I don't believe I can speed this up. I don't think it works the same way as BBA. Doesn't really matter, but okay. <laughs> yeah, they were punctual as hell back here, back in Gen 2. Whoa, two minutes? Day. <laughs> I have no idea why this is a fucking like, little pause, load rob enable sound, but I don't know. I'm gonna have to play it through my expert, because I can't save that shit. You ever notice that Oak backwards is KO? Yeah, I gotta change the name of this thing here. No, 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 no. Yeah, paw me, yeah. Gotta love when I spell things wrong. Good little sample. Silver. Gen 2 OG Silva. Streaming Fire Red Leaf Green. No, I'm not streaming Fire Red Leaf Green Twitch. Catch up, bitch. <coughs> now it's up there, okay. So S and A looks like is A and B. So it looks like S is definitely A and A is B is uh, I still don't know what's up. Yeah, start is still enter. I don't really need select. And the obvious, you know. Maneuvering directional, with, you know, arrow keys. So. But we don't know everything about Pokemon yet. No kidding. There are still many mysteries to solve. No kidding. Nikki, your mama right here. No, I'm not. Um. Pick a time. No, I. My computer's pitching at me to pick a time to install updates. Schedule a restart. Um, I'm just gonna have to gamble with it. Your name was. By the way, below is Ella and Bubbles and Boom. I'm just gonna name him um 
I want to name him D. Tracy, like Dick Tracy. No. Um. Wait, can I go back and like play as a female? No, 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 no. Um, maybe I can't? I think Crystal was when they did either. Silver, alright, well, whatever. Thanks for keeping my name for me. Yeah, I think in the in OG Gen 2, you can only play as a male. I remember in Crystal, I was, I, the first time I played as a girl, I named her, uh, I think her name was Amanda. I think it was like a stock name, I don't think I came up with it. Look at the, f oh wow, this, this thing fixes it. Look at the freaking room. It's like 70s wood wall theme, and I love it. That is too funny. Look at the little analog TV. That's hot shit. Yes, I do. Can you give me a moment to go get it because I'm streaming? Huh, there's the heaviest cat in the town. He knows it. Gear is back from the repair. <laughs> I love how they type shit too. Not your gear or the gear. It just says gear is back from the repair shop. Like gear from Static Shock. Like what? Here you go. Silver received Pokey gear. Not the Pokey gear or a Pokey gear. Just Pokey gear. It's essential if you want to be a good trainer. Oh, the day of the week isn't set. You mustn't forget that. You mustn't. What day is it? I don't know. Fucking Tuesday. Uh oh. Yes. He like saving. Uh, I'm just gonna put yes. I I don't I don't know. You know how to use the phone. She's gonna tell you anyway, so it doesn't really matter what you pick. On and select the phone icon. Phone numbers are stored in memory. Just choose a name you want to call. Gee, isn't that convenient? Yeah, too convenient if you ask me. Oh, there's there's Gen 2 Mom, Miss uh, Spend a Lot, and don't ask you if you need anything, just recreational spending at its finest. Oh, here's D Bag over here. Pretty, yeah, you have to go in here. Look at the Pokeballs, they look like little orbs. <laughs> that was fucking hilarious. Man, I haven't even touched OG Gen 2 in like... Stupid long time. Yes, I already answered that question. Well, open your ears and close your mouth. Raving about his discoveries. Anyway, I just got an email. An email. <laughs> uh, too fucking funny. Could you look into it for us? Yes, because I have no choice. We give you Pokemon for a partner. All rare Pokemon that we just found. Go on, pick Vine. Pick Eins. I gotta go with Toto. What's the first gym? Because I usually base on the first gym. The first gym is a flying. You want Toto Dial? Mm. Yeah, it's either Toto Dial or um. You catch anything? Yeah, I would like Carlos. Silver received a dog. Well, duh, I'm fucking naming him Carlos because. In this gen, he learns rage, and that's just the epitome of perfection. Carlos is rage. <laughs> Perfect. Pokemon lives near Chirp 
hello. I'm still thinking ZS, it's A AS. And I'm still like habitually holding down the space bar and I don't believe you can speed up the simulator, but I could be wrong. Oh, here's my phone number. Call me if something comes up. Nine times out of ten, he calls you. You don't call him. Always freaking calling in a fucking utter panic. Oh, Togepi just broke my lap desk. Please come, please come, you know, catch it or something. Oh, I don't know what to do. I just spent 400 Togepi dollars on my lap desk and now Togepi just smashed it. You know, silly shit like that. Nutshell, basically. Hello, little bag. Just look at the sprites, dude. You gotta love it. Like the little, like, all, you know. But the colors were amazing. Like, the colors are truly amazing. Man, look at the water. The water is beautiful. Here's, uh, his fat tub of goo, McWilliams. Yo, Silver! This is clearly Matthew, my IRL friend. Her I'm <laughs> Prof Elm. <laughs> Discovered some new Pokemon. Thank you, Matt. Always informative and up to speed. Couple less burgers there, buddy. Oh, I remember this shit. Yeah. I'm gonna talk to, um... Do you have to... Is this the guy that, like, shows you how to catch Pokemon? Uh... Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. It might be, but I think it's when you actually, like, acquire the ability to get or buy Pokemon. A wild... Yegdip. Yegdip. Exactly. Yegdip. Ah, man, Carlos isn't a female. Rats. Carlos needs... Uh, I'm never gonna get tired of seeing that shit. Fair warning for everybody. I'm never gonna get tired of seeing Carlos use this. Carlos use that. <coughs> Just look at the fucking colors, dude. The colors of this... Beautiful. Yeah, I have to copy the link. Holy oh, shit! Get the hell! All right, all right, whatever. I probably should turn that down a little, little bit. I don't know, but uh, increase me. That should be. Yeah, I, that. Hang on. I think that would be fine. Lower it a little bit, and then better, better. No momentum. Come die! Come on! Apparently, it didn't fucking copy the link too well. Oh well, I don't feel like getting copied. Copy the link, son of a bitch. All right, well that, um... I'll get my breakfast from the microwave before my grandmother has a fucking aneurysm. I would like to kind of lower the volume, but I know it's not. Audio mixer. Is there a way I can kind of like lower the. Uh, clearly not. Like lower the emulator volume? Uh. Not really, no. But at least my voice is like dominant over the game sound now. It's not fucking me, 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 me. You're okay.
Hi, Timon. You need a long one. You can do a baby. Yeah, Misty is definitely Timon. And Nosy is 100% Pumbaa. Two hundred pounds of bird trip. Yep. Good job, Lulu. I will forever name my daughter doll after Carlos. Hands down. I don't care. Who says what? I've ever seen a fucking that. Nah, of course, it gave me a fucking crit. The game did cool you, boot. Couldn't go with another Lear, could you? Oh. Well, Carlos could use a potion. Not even debatable about that right now. Alright, so enter is okay, so start is still the same. <laughs> I love how they just called it pack. Not bag or backpack, you know, suitcase. No, purse. Pack. <laughs> it's too fucking funny. Oh. You gotta love it. I forgot how much of a pain in the ass this route is, to be honest, to just navigate itself. It's not bad, it's just windy. You know? And then obviously the. I love Central, especially because it evolves into Misty. And I do not harm Central because of Misty. Ancient elder. You're a rookie trainer, aren't you? I can tell that's okay. Everyone is a rookie at some point. Ah, uh, why the fuck not? Give the old man something to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, but I learned about him. And this is right here, Pokemon March. They sell bars for catching wild Pokemon and other useful items. <laughs> yep. Route 30 is out this way. Trainers will be battling their prize Pokemon there. This is water. Some Pokemon are only found in water. And there's Fat Buck. There's so many Matthews in this gym. And uh, uh, this is, uh, uh, it's my house. Thanks for your company. Let me give you a smart gift. Map card. What about the running shoes? Yeah, whatever. I don't think you can run this game anyway. It becomes more useful as you add cards. No. Why don't I remember that? Like, I don't remember that at all. Map cards? Huh? 
Look at the fucking textures, it's so goddamn funny. I got like one task at the moment, I have to go see Mr. Nami Cop. And for those who, of you who have dyslexia, that's Pokemon backwards. Uh oh. Packerhead! Kill the Packerhead! Actually, no, because this thing will fucking probably tank us because, you know, fuck me. Look at them. I always love like this part up here. Like, what the fuck is that? Just like raw fucking live wires or something? Or one hell of an ugly carpet? I don't know. I love it. I freaking love it. Silver received mystery egg, not V or A. Yeah, we know. Okay, we're past that. No, now it says V. Silver put the mystery egg in the key pocket. Gave me that egg. I was intrigued, so I sent mail to Prof Elm. For Pokemon Evolution, Prof Elm is the authority. Even Professor Oak here recognizes that. If my assumption is correct, Prof Elm will know it. Alright, here he is. Busy, my old friend, Mr. Pokemon. I heard you were running an errand for Prof Elm. Yeah, shout out to Yosh, by the way, for the ROM hookup for this game. I could not find it on Emu Paradise or Cool ROM, and I have no idea why. Like, for whatever stupid-ass reason in the Sky Green Earth, there was, like, no Pokemon ROMs to be downloaded from either site. I'm like, what the fuck is going on with this? I mean, usually I don't like to go to, like, sketchy-ass websites to download ROMs. I stick to, like, maybe two or three. But I... Drop chips. I kinda had to just go with it. I have to get the other run for my usual radio show. Well, pardon Wauk. Jeez. Fuck the Kanto region, right? Like Jodo gives you your own radio show. What can I? Ouch. I'm depending on you. Yeah, like, bro, you don't even use your couch. Then what the hell is this? Live wires. Raw circuitry embedded in the floor. Not, not uh, not too many uh, hazardous materials, huh? See what I mean? <laughs> Hello, Silver. It's a disaster. Uh, um, just terrible. <laughs> what should I do? Oh, no, Togepi just took a shit in my bathroom. All right, so in this gen, you had to backtrack all the way back. Now, dealing with the random nonsense, of course, along the way. Because, you see, kids, back in 2001, Pokemon games were challenging. No fast travel now. You had to go back all by yourself, unless you had fly. Which, obviously, you don't have right now. I always love the fucking noise when you encounter a wild mod in this game. It's like fucking utter panic. It's fucking hilarious. Like you can't fucking oh. Yeah, I don't know. It's literally like the anthem for oh, holy fucking shit, what the fuck? No. Come on, Carlos, we got shit to do. Now, I remember, oh yeah, a bunch of fucking, yeah, okay. Turns out these, um, little icons are the tatters. I always found kind of obnoxious. Fruit bearing tree. Hey, it's a berry. Obtained. Gen 2. Obtained berry.
Yeah, pretty sure they just killed Apricorns with different types of berries. I'm gonna fuck his ass. Here is the bad. I already know I'm gonna name him. Scratch the shit out of the pot plant, Los. Keep raking his face. Ah, you only do three damage, you bitch. Chica. Never get Smash Bros. It's the, one of those obnoxious fucking item balls. Chica. They keep fucking throwing razor leaves at you. It's like, dude, what the fuck. No, actually, I think the most obnoxious was probably Meryl. <laughs> like, the second you heard, Mew, Mew, in Smash, it's like a fuck out of the way and jump. And uh, Unknown was also obnoxious, but it was good. It was, like, good obnoxious. And then, um... I remember in Melee, Polygon 2 was a... No, actually, no, Caesar was. Like, Caesar would just, like, target random a random opponent and just, like, fucking try to gangbang it. It's like, Caesar. Well, you couldn't escape it. It would just target with you like a heat-seeking missile. You know, a very sexually active and excited heat-seeking missile. Yes! There it is! That's why I name him Carlos. Carlos learned rage. Perfect. Yes, I am happy I won, because you're a dish. My name's... Now, I wonder if I actually name him, like, question mark, question mark, question mark, does the game kind of, like, you know, kind of give me, like, a dirty look, or is it kind of just allow it? I think that'd be funny as shit. The rival whose name was never known in the playthrough. Yeah, because I remember that asshole was like, oh, let me grab your attention for like 30 minutes just to show you how to fucking catch something. Yeah, but I think that was only in the uh, remakes. I heard a Pokemon. Th this is literally caught mentality in a nutshell. This is beautiful. Watch. I heard a Pokemon was stolen here. I was just getting some information from Prof Elm. Apparently, it was a young male with long red hair. What? Oh, actually, they don't accuse you in this one. That's the remake. How the world changes. You battle the trainer like that? Did you happen to get his name? Yo, can I do that? Because I, I, I think that'd be, like, really fucking funny. I mean, that is what he said. <laughs> the game just goes with it. Yes. Oh, I've heard of lying under oath, but that's just, that's fucking classic right there. That's too goddamn funny. Now what do I do now? Fucking Elm just stands there with his fingers in his ass, or? Silver, so, this is terrible, yeah. Oh, yes. What was Mr. Pokemon's big discovery? A big fucking yolk. That's what it was. And its name is Togepi. And there he is. There, yes, there's a wall back there, Elm. You don't want to hit it too hard. Nani? <laughs> Professor Oak gave you a Pokedex? Oh. You could definitely, like, tell the, like, the general age of professional Professor Elm is definitely like the youngest of, of all of them. I think I looked that up one day because I'm fucking dumb and I wanted to just know like the average age. I think Birch is like late 30s, early 40s. I think, I know Elm's the youngest. Like maybe late 20s, early 30s, something like that. 
Oak and uh, Rowan is actually the oldest. Rowan, Professor Rowan's like in his late 60s. Oak, I believe, is like early 60s. And, um... Sycamore, I don't remember. No, I don't think he was back in the time. Because I think he was like the newest one. And then I'm missing... Kukui, yeah. But, no, Kukui, I believe, is actually the youngest. The guy... That, that good old Loman professor that gets very involved with training his Pokemon. Very involved. Very physically involved with that rock rough. Just saying. Kind of weird. To each their own. You see it now. <laughs> the training was rock rough. Rock rough! <laughs> Easy with that! Silver received Pokeball, not, not even worth it anymore. Yes, I received Pokeball. Silver put the put the poke. I don't know whether they get irritated by it anymore. I just kind of shrug it off. Just like the piss poor fucking like <laughs> bit grammar. All right, what did we actually get from? Make exclusive, unbelievable. Yep, here we go. Now, oh, fine then. Like, you have to walk a lot. No shit, Dick Tracy. Oh yeah, I can see you're walking a whole lot. Yeah, just standing there, stagnant, fucking, you know, with your face in the fucking grass. Can I check my fucking pack now? Thank you. Just bury. Balls. <laughs> Balls! Key items. Okay, that's, you know, descriptive. TM, HM. Okay. Items, yeah. And then balls. Couldn't yeah. get away with that today. Oh, that's sexually subject. Out of here. There's a panic sound. <laughs> The moment we've all been waiting for. There it is. There's a beauty in life right there in that little moment. Carlos used rage. Carlos's rage is building. Damn right it is. Fucking beautiful. It really is fucking beautiful. Perfect adaptation of his characteristics. Right, I don't want to catch a fucking Pidgey here. No, I'd rather catch one you know, a little further along the line. Oh, a little nyeh. I love its cry because it's kind of like, you know, the common like noise a lot of people Tourette's make. Nyeh, 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 nyeh. Okay, but I definitely want a femal. Pretty sure Sentra can only be. No, I think you can catch in the Alex Forest, but I'm not sure. I could be wrong on that, but I'm pretty sure Sentra only lives on Route. whatever the fuck this is, 29. You know, my clone's up one. Panic mode! Hello, buddy. Go, come on. There's no more appropriate move. Your enemy could be. Carlos's rage is building. Damn right it is! We all know what it looks like. Don't oh, goddammit! Fuck! <laughs> yeah, fuck you, Pidgey bitch! Oyster. Fuck happened. Yeah, that goes for all the oh, yo birds too, like fucking Pidgey. Um, I remember in this game, like it was actually challenging to raise all of your Pokemon. 
because we didn't have the fucking cheap, cheap chicken shit fucking EXP share built in. Now, there was a time where it was an item you had to find. Be a female. I don't, I want, because I love Furret as a Pokemon and because I hate Niki, I have to catch, I have to catch a female Sentry named Niki. Okay, let's see. Well, hell's breaking loose because we just stepped on a Pidgey wing. Gives them a chance to rage again. I love how Carlos just two shots a fucking bird. Don't oh, goddammit, fuck you bird, fuck, shit, you special world! Oh, fucking great! Fucking iconic. Rage times three. Greetings, sir. <laughs> yeah, I do. Oh. <laughs> it was the fucking greatest moment ever. I had to name it Carlos, dude. I had literally no choice but to just name it Carlos. Specifically for the rage move. Ah! I'm fucking back. Ah! I remember your call that was fucking hilarious, dude. Like, what the fuck language was that? Like, it, 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 little neighbor runs in speaking alien. <laughs> dude. <coughs> <coughs> That was too goddamn funny. Alright, I gotta catch this little female yet. Don't! Jesus Christ. That was too freaking funny. Speaking alien. Yeah, that was a legendary video. Oh god, yeah. Hands down. Yeah, I love how in, in battle it says, Used the Pokeball, not use ball. <laughs> You gotta love the fucking grammar, dude. Like, when you're working with, like, such a small little, like, box for text, it's like, you know, <laughs> f fuck punctuation. Oh, man. And scout. It stands on its tail so it can see a long way. If it spots an enemy, it cries yeah, loudly. I'm wondering why fucking his neighbor just ran in there. <laughs> Yeah, that, th yeah, you would, yeah, like, just randomly out of the blue, like, just barges, the, not only through his house, but goes in his bedroom. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, bro. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, facts, dude. Like, how the hell, like, where do you live, bro, that your neighbors just, like, yeah. waltz through your house screaming like that? <laughs> like, I'd understand if he was asking for water because he was dying of thirst or something. Oh, right, yeah. Yeah, whatever the fuck, but, like. <laughs> Gotta love it. You gotta love it. Some, like, oh man, fuck. Yeah, that's that's very intrusive to say the least. <laughs> Maybe that guy just like didn't keep the site board or something. Oh uh, yeah. Just fucking popped in there. <laughs> right. <laughs> like, ah, ah. Sorry about that. My freaking neighbor won't leave me alone. Fucking little kid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude, I love fur it though. Yeah, same. I always, I always. Dude, Furry can learn Surf. Like, think I about know. that for a minute. Like, that's that's fucking yeah. clutch. And I'm pretty sure, like, nothing else pretty, you know, oddball typing-wise could learn it. You know what always got me, too, is fucking Rhydon can learn Surf. How and why? Yeah, like, how does that even work? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, dude, I, I've been thinking to myself, Hey, Rhydon, can you surf me across fucking, you know, the Cinnabar... Route? Yeah, sure. Dies. <laughs> the quickest way to just kill off your ride on, teach yeah. it surf and have it use it. Like, how does that even work when they're weak to water? Like, would they, like, they should be, like, dying in the water. Well, yeah, you would think you know, so. Like, if they're in the water for an extended period of time, they're done though. Oh god, yeah. I mean, this is common sense. I mean, it's a fucking mountainous rhino, like... <laughs> I don't... <laughs> Logic be damned. I'm gonna actually hang on. I gotta. You know, remember in this game it was actually challenging, so you have to like train all your mods kind of separately. You could really 
I mean, you can still have, like, the carrying mechanic, like, one, one of them just carries everybody, but I really didn't like it. I never liked that idea. You know, because I'm, if yeah. I'm going up, if I'm trying to go up against the Elite Four and my starter is, like, on his last limb, hell, who the hell takes his, his spot? Anuka. 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 Yeah. Anuka. 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 No, not particularly. Um, I do. Um, it's pretty much just whatever, to be honest. Like whatever kind of works. What I do actually, what I would like to do at the start of this is definitely check out um, Dark Cave and see and see if I can land like Wobbuffet or Dunsparce. Because I remember when I was a kid and I first played this, I I I, I think I like got lost in Dark Cave. You know, probably most people did. But I came across. Like done sparse, and, and I never like, saw it again. And I'm like, why well, haven't I ever seen this? And then later on, I'm like, oh, because it's a rare spawn in only this location. Got it. Right. But I, yeah. I feel like Wobbuffet would probably be like the like the save like equivalent early on. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like pretty much, yeah. And Wobbuffet's just like the ultimate countering counter yeah. to like everything. Yeah. So I, 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 if I see it, I'll spend a little bit of time in Dark Cave, but... And see, the only fucking weird part is, like, you need Flash. You know, it's like, yeah. fine, I mean, but, eh. I can't go too far. To, like, what the... I believe it's early on. I'm pretty sure it's early like, on. I think so, yeah, that sounds right. Where all the fucking monks just, like, you know... Yeah, I think know. that's when you get it. Yeah, fucking all those sages just run around with fucking bell sprouts out their ass. <laughs> like, what a weird ass Pokemon to worship and build a tower out of. Bell sprout? <laughs> like, what the fuck is so great about bell sprout? I mean, all right, it's kind of. Bell sprout, like bell sprout, Yeah, like victory bells fucking kick ass, but. Yeah, pretty much. Like growing some weed. Yeah. <laughs> like smoking the fucking sprout vines. That's probably what they're doing, is they're just getting baked all day in the fucking house. <laughs> right, and it's like, yo, man. Hey, Sage Nico, did you catch what happened to my bell sprout? Nah, man, my bell sprout was like, you know, trying to evolve in some shit, and like, I was like, yo, no. <laughs> Yeah, I never uh, I never played the original Gen 2 game too much. Like the silver crystal, but I never yeah. ended up doing that. And that was that's the only time I ever got a full on shiny. I was I was training before uh, before you go to the, the tunnel or like the cave before the second gym. You know how you get flat? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, like because I had I already had a I was just training there. And I found a shiny marine. And I was like, holy fuck. Yeah. So when I caught that, because I already had a marine, because I like I always like getting marine. Right. But uh, I already had one and I caught it, so I got the shiny one. But it's funny, like, I wasn't recording though, so it wasn't like a library hack. It was like, I did like a reaction, like, seconds after uh, yeah. I started recording. Yeah. And then, like, before I started uploading that LP, I did like a trailer video showing, oh, I need to do a Pokemon Gold LP next. And, it had that moment. Oh, like that was perfect. Moment, yep. Fired up. Yeah. Had, like, I remember like, way back in the day, dude, Chugga was doing um, a crystal run, and like the biggest yeah. like explosion early on was when he found yeah the shiny coughing yeah. Dude, I used to love his shiny reaction because like you didn't know what the fuck he was saying, but you knew he was excited. <laughs> like I think the best one that everybody loved was his Groudon. And then, and then, oh, the, the, oh, I remember that. yeah, dude. And then the icing on the cake was cake was he caught it in a nest ball. I know, I know. <laughs> I, I remember at the end of it, he's just like, oh, I just lost man points because <laughs> he screamed like a girl. He's just like, what? Like I still remember when that when he uploaded that episode, and my friend and I, like the one friend did my uh, in the Discord group, Discord man. Yeah. Like he gave me his. We always would watch LPs and shit, 
shit. And like right. the game is cool that day, and we were freaking out about that. Dude, that was I don't care. Like... But then that ball. Yeah, dude. Like of all things, and then he just yeah. he he just lost his fucking mind, and then he lost his shit. <laughs> Perfect way to explain that. Oh my god. Oh, yeah. that, that is just uh, those are the days, man. Carlos, another Pokemon he freaked out about catching is Crystal. What I was it? I forget. I, I aside from the it coughing, like I don't know. Like yeah. Like... I gotta remember. I think I know where Flaffy on, on the Reap is in this gen. I think I know where it it's is. It's after the first gym. Yeah, when you go down and then uh, into yeah, yeah. And that's yeah. the route. That's the route I got. I found the shiny Marie. Yeah, because I know you also yeah, find Wooper on that route. I remember my hard gold LP I did so many years ago, dude. It's like, uh I don't, I don't even remember. I think the emulator or something fucked up because I was using uh, Desmium. What happened with my gold LP? I had to stop it. I got the eight gym, mm. and I had to. Uh, the wrong Dude, look at the bug catch's derpy little smile. <laughs> yeah, you're fucking twerp. <laughs> Still only twerp. Dude, bug catch is gone. <laughs> look at his goofy ass grin. <laughs> that is his death. They're shorts, dude. Yeah, dude. They did not. They did not. They would not get the bug catchers, dude. They were not kind. Oh. Well, I'm sorry, what were you saying, by the way? Fucking Dawn over here just distracted the shit out of me. Dude, I, I remember in one gen there was a youngster that literally said, uh, so, I think it was Gen 4, he was like, something about, it was really fucking weird. He it's Something along the lines of, Hey, if I win, I want your shorts. Yours are cooler than mine, or something like that. And I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, I know what you said. Yeah. I don't. I think it was Gen Four. I pre something like that. Yeah. yeah, like something like very, like, odd. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> like, bro, what are you gonna do with my shorts? You gonna like sniff them or something, or sell them to your friends? Like, the fuck's wrong with you? <laughs> oh my god, kinky son of a bitch. Yeah. God. <laughs> Dude, Scott's that one strange bird who would like, you know, he would he would win my shorts and then use him as like a bandana. Yeah, yeah, like a drag. Uh, yeah, dude, it's like fucking Scott. I love how Carlos his rage is like a four right now. I'm just gonna maul through him with the first one. Carlos would rage it. Dude, I love it. I, like, if I ever get th this to a fucking, like, beefy for alligator, it's still gonna know rage. God, this is rage is building. We know. Fucking, like, level 89 for alligator used rage. <laughs> I got Mario Kart, too. I have my channel. He literally kept getting confusing errors. Yep. And he kept, like, flipping out. <laughs> <laughs> <I'd> <laughs> <love it. laughs> Dude, I know. Dude, Carlos Rage 2 was the best one. Like, it was, it was, I think it was me, Dylan, Trevor, and, uh, Callum, yeah. and fucking yeah, Carlos yeah. just goes, he says, like, fuck, and Callum just goes, me. <laughs> <laughs> and then Dylan's cracking up, and then randomly out of the boat, he's like, all we hear is, go, to, like, screwing around the BS. Dow! Fuck! And then I'm just cracking the fuck up. And he's like, oh, fucking great. I gotta go all the way back to the fucking goddamn beginning. Fucking special world. It's just like, dude. Yeah. Fucking 11 years old, swearing like a sailor. It was just beautiful. Yeah, like 2000s. Yeah. 100% on 2000s, baby. To the T. Yeah, I, I, that... Uh, I remember I was found this video on YouTube. It said when your mom called you in Gen 2, and it had like, oh, I found something and I bought it with your money. It's in your PC. Hope you like it. And then it had like the the fish from SpongeBob with like Gen 2 cap on. It says, "You what? <laughs> like, that's perfect." Yeah. 
Okay, here we are in Dark Cave. I love how, like, you can get a quick glimpse of it when you first walk in. Yeah. But I remember yeah. I didn't go very far. I never went very far. I had, I believe I had to learn that the hard way. Zubat I will actually use. Yeah, Zubat. Senior, I never really went in there much. It, it's, it's a very, like, off the beaten path area, to be honest, and it's, like, very, very, very optional. I mean, you pretty much only go in there for a handful of items in, like, the sea and, or, or catch Waterfat and Dunsparce. Pretty sure that's the only yeah. place there are anyway, so, okay, fine. And I do like how it's, like, right in the beginning, so it's not like you gotta, like, traverse yeah. much. Yeah, because they, because you get flashed right after. Yeah. Like, so well, there's so three entries. Like, if flashed, let me go back to Dark Cave. Oh, uh, yeah, because, you know. I think there's two or three entry points in Dark Cave. I think there's two. Yeah, yeah, connect to, like, another yeah, and I, you know what else I loved was, uh, Mount Mordor. Mount Mordor was actually really fucking cool. And then, like, it has, like, a little sl slight backstory to it with the hiker that just comes running out and tells you about it. I'm like, that's kind of interesting that they actually, you know, they not only kind of incorporated, like, a cool little, like, mini mountain dungeon thing, but then they kind of gave it, like, a little bit of a backstory. They're kind of like, oh, hey, you know, we, we care, and... Here's why. Yeah, yeah, some lore. Right? Yeah, yeah, some little lore. It's like a cool little tidbit of information that, all right, it's not necessary, but okay, it's okay, it's cool. I don't think anyone's gonna pitch a bit over it. The one spot I would always go to was after you beat the second gym leader in uh, in Sinnoh, mm. where you can get Gibble. Yeah, we would like cave. Yeah, Wayward Cave, dude, that was a bitch to get to, and I remember that being know, actually yeah. difficult. And it's so fucking yeah. hidden, too. Like, most people, yeah, I think, didn't even know it was... The entrance. It was... Yeah! Like, you didn't even know it was there unless you had, like, the strategy guide or something. Yeah. Or so maybe someone told yeah, you by finding it. Things like that where it's, like, if you never even had the strategy guide or went online, you would never know if it even existed. And it looked yeah, like exactly, it yeah. one of the best Pokemon in the entire game. Yes. And in the entire series, at that point, dude, fourth generation fucking Garchomp, like yeah. Uber. It was Uber in fourth generation. Yo, check what I named, the, look at what I named Zubat. You see it, the urine lip. It's loading. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna laugh. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Why the fuck not? Ah. <laughs> uh. Yeah, and I and I did like that crow. Yes. You fuck it up either because he evolves from friendship from Crobat. Yes. You get it? You get Crobat actually really early on in the game. You can, yeah, and I think in the and I think in Gen 2 you could it was friendship. I later on I I think it might have been trade, but I could be wrong. I think maybe it's always been that. Yeah, still uh yeah, we still like friendship or happiness or whatever. Yeah, yeah. That to me is a hell of a lot better, especially with bombing it. Yeah, like, even if, yeah. I, would, I would always get a Crobat in Sinnoh, uh, too. I'd get Crobat yeah. early on, and I would have Crobat by, like, 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 the second gym, or just after the second gym. That's so kick-ass. That is kick-ass. As, as, as long as you don't mess it up. Exactly, yeah, you gotta keep it That's happy. The there, like, um, uh... If you don't let it fade, or, you know... You yeah. Know, like, it, it, it'll, uh... Right. It'll evolve early. Like, it <laughs> doesn't take a long time to... Like, oh, yeah. Yeah, because I always liked that you could like give it like a Soothe Bell, yeah, stuff like yeah, that. Yeah. Soothe Bell was always helpful. Yeah. Oh, Carlos is great. Fourth Gen was amazing. Probably my favorite generation, to be honest. I remember a lot about more so with Gen Two in regards to like Crystal, because I I was saying like Crit. Because OG Gen 2 Gold and Silver and before, you could only play as a, a, a male character. Yeah. And then Crystal introduced a female character. And I think in my original Crystal, I played as a female and her name was Amanda. And I think that was maybe like a stock name. But I'll yeah. never forget it. So you were gender fluid, man? Hell yeah, man. I'm gonna, you know. <laughs> gonna support. <laughs> Gen 3, so Ruby 
It, yeah, for a lot of reasons, it really was. Oh yeah. Yeah, they got a lot of people agree on that. A lot of people say that, dude. That is the definitive thing right there, yeah. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure it's like the only Pokemon game they've ever made where you can go to like two fucking regions. Yeah. Yo, gold, silver, crystal, and yeah. The original ones, like, with the Game Boy Color, like, the, yeah. like, the technology they have, and, like, that's why I don't, like... I don't There's know, really no like, reason for them not to do it now. Like, yeah. Until, like, recently, you know? Yeah. Because they had the capability with the DS. Yeah. Stuff, right? Like, they did it with the remakes for gold, silver. Like, yeah, so they, you know, they could probably do that and then some even with the fucking Switch, even. You know, yeah. the thing that people yeah. liked was, what I always loved personally with the Gen 2 Remix was, honestly, the fact that it will travel behind you, which is kind of like a nod to Yellow. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Yellow was the only one, but it was only Pikachu. But, you know, that was kind of an interesting little nod, and it's like, huh, I get a fucking Rayquaza walking behind me. I mean, that's killer. Yeah. Like, you can't really compete with that. Because yeah, that was like, everybody loved that, yeah. They, although it was a small thing, everybody fucking just went, whoa. You know? Yeah, I definitely say though, uh, Heart Gold Soul Silver is probably like the pinnacle of remakes. Yeah. yeah. I don't know, just the way the game was. The, it all flowed so well. And then they introduced like the Poke Athlon Dome, which I personally very much enjoyed. You know, it like, was. Compared to a lot of the other kind of similar things they did in other generations, like... The contests the and the shows stuff. and stuff, yeah. Like, the Poke Athlon Dome was fucking really neat. And I did enjoy that they also kept the bug catching contest. They didn't, like, sack the old for a new thing. No, they, they kept they kept the OG yeah, fucking thing they do, and that's what I love. Yeah. yeah. You know, you know, I remember somebody figured out, like, there's, like, an impossible way for you to win through some little, like, algorithm, like, such and such caught a pincer, such and such caught a scyther, and you're just sitting there, like, hey, hey, Kakuna. But it was fun, though. Yeah. It was fun. Crystal, silver, and purple, silver, you can get hair across, so fucking early. Yep, yep. You know, like... Oh, dude, the Heracross was a blast. The one Pokemon I loved using in Sinnoh was, uh, uh, Vespa Queen, but getting yes. a female Kobe was a 1% chance. Yeah. With the money. It was yep. so hard. Dude, I love Vespa Queen. Because remember Banner Land used it in the original Diamond Walker? Maybe. I think you'd remember Queen that more than me. Because Vespa Queen's a fucking tank, dude. Especially if yeah. you can teach it attack order and defense order. Like, that's fucking kick ass. And I believe it learns Power Gem the moment it evolves, mm -hmm. but it's like stupid weak to rock, and that's pretty much the only thing. Yeah. But yeah. even still, it's a, it's a solid, solid mod. Especially for a bug type too. Right? Yeah, yeah, that was the thing too. Yeah. I think I remember in um, I got really fucking lucky in Legends Arceus. Um, I caught a. Was it an alpha combi, right? Fe yeah. Female. I'm like, no way. So I evolved that shit as soon as I could, but I'm like, dude, that is that is amazing. But the only thing is, it, it the difficulty to get the the female like is like stupid easy now because the moment you like see it, you can see like before you throw the ball, you can scan it. Be, oh, male, 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 male. Right. But but there is a level of difficulty and luck based on oh, is the the one alpha in the area male or female? Yeah, but we don't know. But I don't know if that the the ratio rarity is still present in that. I, I it might be, but I, I I'm just not seeing it. But it was harder in Gen 4. That was, like you said, you had to use honey on a tree and then wait. And then it was a 1% chance to get a female home. Yeah. So it's like, yeah. and it took time to actually get a Pokemon with the honey rate. Oh yeah, because you had like, to like wait like, a day or something like that. The honey and get a Pokemon encounter rate. So yes. You know, it wasn't like walking in the grass. like. Right, yeah. And love the I mean, fucking... You get hair across and stuff too in Gen 4 as well. The honey. But oh, it was shit. like the same thing. It was like, 
it was yeah it, it was pretty much almost never happened like yeah, it was so like, gut yeah. it was so damn rare like i never got an air cross while encountering jet four i did in jet two obviously like purple and shit. yeah yeah you know headbutt like fuck, yeah cool. dude that's what i loved about this this too like headbutt was uh, an outside move so you could, that's how you got like eye palm. Yeah. I love eye palm, dude. Eye palm is. Yo, eye palm. Yeah. Yeah. I love that one. And then the ambi palm and palm more. Yes, dude. I I I had a killer ambi palm in one game, and I named it Bipolar Tail. Just. <laughs> 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 yeah, Perfect. The fucking two, like. <laughs> yeah. Both sides. I love this fucking like little get jiggy with it pillar in the Sprout Tower. It, 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 the way it moves is like. Dude, even the tower is big. But I guess moving side to side, it's like drunk, you know? <laughs> Yo, right? <laughs> it's uh, shot, you know? It's like, yeah. It's, dude, you know what Pokemon I love that reminds me of a little town drunk? Fucking Spinda. Oh, fuck. <laughs> dude, Spinda no, I, is a drunk. He's just, like spinning around with it. No, dude, he's just like. He has like no balance and he's kind of like just playing on his little nub arms yeah. and he he's got like he he's like a drunk. It's the funniest shit. Dude, it's like it's like he just came back from all that just like kitchen. Yeah, dude, he just came back from a fucking bender down in fucking Aruba or some shit. He's still feeling it. <laughs> to honor all Pokemon, yeah. What well, but what are you so fixated on Bellsprout for, bro? These guys are fucking weirdos. Sage Chow. Dude, I'm calling it right now. There is a Sage Nico in this tower. Is there a memory from from Heart Gold Soul Silver? Like, certain. I'll remember. Like, Skier Sean. Yeah, oh yeah. That's yes. You, you, you can't. Oh, and there was another one in, uh. I don't think Gen 1 they had like n individual names, but in Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, and I'm pretty sure Fire Red and Leaf Green, there's Punk Guy Alex, and I'm like, Bravo. He's right to, he's like west of Fuchsia City, like that long stretch route. Right. right. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm that. talking about, yeah. Yeah, I remember that. That massively yeah. long route, yeah. Yeah, I remember that, because like, I always remember that from like, yeah. Where, like, there were so many trainers. And there were, yeah. So like a, and yeah, then the so fence like, maze. That fence maze was a, was a, was quite challenging too, especially in the original, you know, gents where you, could, you know, you couldn't like make out so certain directions. I, uh, I thought was gonna be like just whatever, like average, but mm. when my one friend like Chan, like he's also in the Discord chat, like yeah. you were talking to. I came over to my house one day, like, a few years ago when I came out. Fucking, uh, what is it? Fucking Let's Go, like, uh... Pikachu and Eevee. It was like, yeah, right. like, yeah, Let's Go Pokemon Eevee or whatever, whatever the title's called. Yeah. Where it's like the Pokemon Go aspect, but it's like the whole, like, the three, like, over top, like, view. Yeah, yeah. That's a fucking good game. It yeah. really is. It really also like, got is. I, like, it, we started playing it, and I was like, yo, like, let's play that. Yeah. Like, oh, it's gonna be kind of gimmicky, whatever. Just, you know. Yeah. Fucking good game. It like, really is, like, dude. What I liked yeah. about it right away, like one of the first things I noticed is, it, in, in, a, in technically speaking, you literally have like, it, it, it kind of like bumps up three mods at the same time, right? So obviously, if you if if it's EV and you have EV on the team, he's right on your shoulder, right? And then you can select another Pokemon from your team to fall behind you. And where the third aspect comes in, the one falling behind you does not have to be the first one in the party. That, you know what I mean? Like, that, that I actually liked a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, even if Pikachu or Eevee isn't even with you on your team, they're chilling right on your shoulder, dude. Like, that is some really, like, you know, fine <laughs> detailing. Shit right there. Oh, yeah, dude, but, but it's detail. You know what I mean? Like, it's yeah. very good detail. Like, oh, hey, uh, you know, Eevee and Pikachu aren't with me on my team. 
but they're still like you know riding like parrot style pirate shotgun. I'm like that's that's awesome. To yeah, they're kind of like they're kind of like they're more than just a Pokemon. Or you're, they're, yes. You know, like your comrade. Like, exactly. Yes, they're like a piece of you kind of deal. Like you know, surgically yeah. surgically attached to the hip. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. But but it's cool though how you could do that. Yeah, because there were tons of times where Ash didn't use Pikachu in battles and he had a full team. Yeah, but, but he was he right was there. Around, yeah. Right? I remember what I liked most about um, the Let's Go's was how easy, sh how easy like shiny hunting was. I remember I had Let's Go Eevee, and then I formatted my Switch not around, uh, not knowing how it worked. So I lost all that data. So then I had digitally downloaded Let's Go Pikachu, and I already knew like the whole schematic on how to look for a shiny. I fucking caught a shiny Paris in Mount Moon, like, right after the first badge, I'm like... Because I was questioning if it, if it was a, an in-game mechanic that kind of works after you beat the game, or not. And so I kind of tested it out a bit, and I'm like, holy shit. You know, I have one gym badge, and I just caught a shiny. That, that I like, too. Like, you don't have to go through the whole game just to be able to do that. I mean, obviously when it dropped, like, most people didn't figure it out until later anyway. But the fact that you could just, you know, pretty much shiny hunt anything right off the rip, it's like, okay, that's pretty fucking solid. I mean, you gotta have enough money for, um, the Pokeballs and whatnot, because you gotta get a catch combo. But, either way, you know, Pokeballs were like 200 or 100 a pop, and you obviously rack up some good money in the Verdean Forest and then the first gym. So, yeah. It's very doable. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Who I like the uh, uh, shiny Paris. Okay. Shiny Paris is actually very interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Like. Yeah. It's just like a darker red as opposed to a lighter orange. Yeah. Like I like shiny where it's kind of. Uh, Different. Not such a big change. Like, yeah. You know, like, where it's just kind of, just a shady difference. Yes, like like, yes. Really good, like, uh, I noticed a lot of, like, Gen 3 Watermons, like, pretty much all reverted to, like, pink. Yeah, like, uh, Whalmer. Whalmer and Kyogre, yeah, dude. Yeah. But you know who has a good one is Relicanth. Relicanth oh, goes from, yeah, like, yeah, like a yeah. brown to, like, a, an aqua blue, and it's beautiful. And I always love yeah. chain fishing if you get shinies too. I did a lot of chain fishing shinies in oh, fuck. Yeah. Kalos and Oris. Six gen, dude. Six gen, so Kalos and Omega Ruby Alpha now are yeah. in. That game's the shiny honey. Hands down. Wonder Trade. Yes. Wonder Trade was such a good feature. You actually like that, dude? I, I made a meme on how bad how much I disliked dude, it. I, fucking, I just found it fun. Like, that, yeah, it, what the heck is this, 4440, oh, oh, confirming the, um, the appointment, okay, yeah, cause I, I dude, I was able to catch fucking the previous, previous Pokemon that were, like, hard to catch and then fucking shiny on top of it, like, Al Alamoa, I don't know if I'm saying it right, it's, um, it's basically like the Gen 6 love disc. But I caught that. I caught like three or two shiny octillaries. And I caught a shiny Dragalge. I'm like, that's kick ass. Yeah. yeah. But if you had like yeah. a super rod, you could like land like, you know, beefy mons and, and then chain them. So that's how I was able to catch like a shiny uh, Gorobis. I'm like, Ooh, like that was pretty. Like Gorbis and Huntail were hard to get in Gen Three, and, and as well, as they weren't hard, but they were tricky. You know, I mean, it would yeah, yeah, you yeah, had to yeah, you had yeah. to know what you were doing and looking for. Dude, I still remember when, uh, like right before Diamond and Pearl came out, so Gen Three were the latest game. Yes. Dude, yep. Uh, uh, Huntail. And Armaldo were so fucking cool to me at the yeah. time. 
Yeah, I always love that. Like, am I like the year old self or whatever? Like, yeah, like, dude. Fucking Pokemon Yeah. Like, and I always loved fucking Huntail's like derpy like cry. <laughs> that, <laughs> that to me was always fucking hysterical. Just setting him out, all you hear is bim bim. <laughs> and then you look at him and it works. Like he literally looks like a demon. Yo, he kind of does. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's aside, aside from looking like, on like, too. Like, so, the shiny relic hands, like it makes sense how like the shiny relic hands is that color is like the regular relic hands is like brown and stuff, right? Just yeah. Like, the the ocean, yeah. Right? So, it's, it's based off of a like, um. Shiny, like actually like up in the water, you know? So it gets like yeah. a green color, right? Yes. Like it makes sense if you think about it. Oh, it does. I mean, Relicanth is based off of a, um, I, I, I know I'm not going to pronounce it right, but it's based off a real fish called a Coelican. Uh, Animal Crossing, um, uh, pretty much, brought, Animal Crossing pretty much brought that to the mainstream gaming world, like the concept of that fish, because all the fish in Animal Crossing are actually real yeah. fish. Yeah, yeah, they're actual, yeah, yeah, like the sea bass and stuff. Yeah, and Red Snapper, Knife Jaw. The one that threw me off in, um, I think it was Wild World when they when they introduced something called the zebra turkey fish. I'm like, yo, wait a minute. <laughs> so I look it up and I'm like, son of a bitch, well played. It's a real thing. Dude, that's one game I wish I'd played more with Animal Crossing. Dude, I played so much of the 3DS one. What was it? Uh, Wind Waker. Uh, Wind Waker. Yeah, dude. Yeah, I wish I Dude, I played that like I had like a couple of hours of that game. I believe, yeah. Like, like nope. or like the one on the like 3DS like was a big jump. Not so much like handheld-wise, but it was a huge jump. Because, you know, Wild Wild World I played a lot with my sister when we were kids. A shit ton. And then once City Folk came out, I was rearing to go and loved that. But then yeah, the 3DS one, dude, the 3DS one was kind of just like the perfect blend of like Bring in your town with you on the go, but also having like the amenities and graphics and all the good shit of a console. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah, I, that's the only Animal Crossing game I've played. I never yeah. played you know, any of the other, like the GameCube ones. Like, you know, the GameCube one I was the first one I, I played. I remember your one Let's Play. Yeah, it was 69 Days of Animal Crossing. Yeah, that was yeah. the shit. That was. You were in quite a few of those, I believe, yeah. On one of them or something? I'm, yeah, I you... I one of those is like a Mario... You co calmed in that a couple times, I remember. Because I had... I, I, it had lasted me, like, quite a bit. Because... It, which is also why I didn't want to do, like, the, the full year span of it. Because if I missed a day or two, I'd, you know, it'd kind of be like, well... Kind of kind feed the purpose. Right. Yeah, it, it would have ruined it to me, and it wouldn't have felt right. So that's kind of what I what, what I randomly just did. Random 69 days worth. Okay. So I'm not going to screw anything up by missing X amount of time. But I think at one point I had, like, computer problems or something like that, and, like, I, you know, I had to wait. You know what I mean? And I, had a, and I had an LP that lasted fucking, like, two years in between, like, episodes. And I believe it was Wii Sports Resort. Where I pretty much just filmed like a good presented a good, good amount of time of like all the sport modes, so it wasn't like it was like something that I religiously had to keep get going with. Like no, it was definitely one of the ones that I, I could have, I, I was able to like, you know, I, I could have, I, I was able to afford having computer problems. You know what I mean? And I think that actually, I think it was two years. Wakeboarding, and then the last two I did were, were like two years later. Because I think I didn't even have the game for a while. And I need to use potions. Yo, I just see Bellsprout on the screen, dude. Like, dude, the spread in the game is so funny for Bellsprout. Yeah, it is. <laughs> like, his mouth is like wild. Like, yeah. Oh, dude, it's too fucking much. I remember his Sprout Tower being like obnoxiously. It's not hard, it's just very tedious. Because they're all yeah, using goddamn Bellsprout. Yeah. Yeah, I'm 
yeah, there are. Oh good, I did find potion. Silver found potion! I might want to use that now. Restores it, yeah. Yeah, okay, now we're in good shape. No fucking little creepy ass noise. It's so fucking weird. Like like I was saying before, how like the the random encounter noise, it's like absolute hysteria. It like in a fucking sound form. It's like, oh holy shit. Like it was it's this. Like Uh, yeah, and like, what's coming? Pigeon. Yeah, the <laughs> fucking oh, pigeons like, coming <laughs> back. To... Oh god. Yeah, yeah, it's just. Like, I mean, it's like my <laughs> yeah, very, uh, very exaggerated. <laughs> yeah, I might actually not do well here because. um... It's the, uh... It's, it's that vine whip early in the game, that's the thing. It's definitely the vine whip. Yeah. Like, you'd be per- I remember my one, uh, my one friend. Yeah. He, uh, only yeah, played nice. Showdown. For a Pokemon, it was Pokemon Online. Showdown didn't exist then. Yeah, yeah, he had yeah. A, he had a friend on his team, and he literally just gave it all the elemental punches. And that was it. Ooh. <laughs> That's nasty, dude. I like that. And then me and my other friend were just laughing. Like, dude, it's yeah. like a slinky Hitmonchan. Well yeah. done. Well played. It's, it's, it's like, how much cover did you get from that, dude? Yeah. Yeah. Being a normal type with elemental punches. Like, that's some cool shit. Yeah. And plus, it's physical, right? So, oh, yeah. It was, it was four chests, so. I don't have another potion, do I? No, I don't. Shit. Alright, well this... This is pretty... Uh, yeah, the Elders HM, Lights Even, Pitch Black, Darkness. Okay, so yeah, you were right. You get you get Flash and Sprout Tower. Or are you gonna go back to Dark King, you or... <laughs> Yeah, I, I think I might peep around there for a bit. Because I know once you get to a certain point, you um, actually can't go back. Is he's... <laughs> Oh, in the stream right now? Yeah, there might be a little bit of a uh, delay. Yeah, it was super close, yeah. Oh, shit. Now, I do like they all, I, they all pretty much just had like one bell throughout. Oh, fuck! Darian, you know, the one magic card? Yeah, there's a few, I think there's Fisherman one in like every gen, yeah. Fisherman Trudeau. Yeah, dude, no shit. <laughs> Fisherman Trudeau sent out magic card. Dude, I remember, um, I think the the gen 4 one is, um, right before Ethereum City, after you exit the forest. Yeah, he has like a whole team of Yeah, magic. fucking magic card. I, I, I don't remember where the Kalos one is, but he's funny shit too. Gibble, you struggle. Yeah, the wood. I'd, I'd have to. I don't know what I'd have to use emulation wise. I don't know. I think I don't know. I think Fourth Gen was like all around the best generation of teams, like Wi-Fi battling and training. Yeah, that's when that really kind of blossomed too. Being able to trade like much easier between games. Oh um, yeah. I don't know. It just, it just flowed I better think that overall. Was, like, the all around. That, that was like Pokemon in terms of YouTube as well. Yeah, yeah, it like, was. That was just, like, the peak time to be a Pokemon fan. Like, oh god, yeah, Gen generation. Four. You know. But oh, honestly, like, I love like first. Well, when I say first generation, I mean like Nintendo. Yeah. Like I'm talking like Fire Red Green, but that's like Gen. I'll just say, I guess, like, Gen 2 to Gen 6, those are the generations I think. 
Yeah. You know, Gen 7 was a bad sort of move, kind of whatever, and then I never it played Sword and Shield, but I heard kind of... It didn't look so nice that you wrote it. It kind of mixed, but... Oh, it's mixed. Because the uh, first, first generation was, like, it mainly just for, like, the all oh, Like, the yeah. knowledge and stuff you could do. The exploiting you know, like and everything, really, yeah. Go back to play, just to play it, but you may as well just play Fire Red League Green, right? Yeah. So, like, that's the thing, I consider, like, Fire Red League Green the first gen when I say that, but it's, like, third gen, right? Well, it's, well, it's, it's the first, gen. first gen remake. That, that will, uh, that will, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. Like, usually when I say, like, first gen, second gen shit, it's, like, the actual region. But, that's like, what I usually go by, too, kind of like, yeah. I, I never, because like when I say Gen 3, I'm not, I'm not thinking Oris. Yeah. No, I'm just thinking yeah. Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald, and then 4th yeah. Gen, you know, so yeah. I, I basically gauge it the same way in my mind. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, X and, and I don't the final region, right? Like, Kanto's first gen. Yes. Then Jodo's second, you know, so on and so forth, right? So. Did you ever look up, like, um, geographically speaking, where the, where the, uh, the regions are inspired by? I, um, There's an image on. Yeah. He does like he does like character analysis and stuff of like different animes from mm. like different characters of different animes. And I didn't even know because I've been watching him for like two three years. Yeah. And he has the uh, analysis videos of every Pokemon region. And he goes in depth on like the thematic like behind the region. Yes, the, the building styles and Dude, things I'll like that. Some videos later on it, I, sent, I sent some to my friend the other day. And he goes through like every region about like the themes and all that behind each region. Each region and like how they designed the game. And like each town. And then how it all connects. And like with the Pokemon stuff. There, there is an image cool. on Google that if you, um, if you look up um, the geographical image of Japan. Oh, yeah. It, it, yeah, stuff, yeah. It's the first three gens make up the entire, like, landmass of Japan. It's just... Yeah. It, it's not upright, but it's at, it's on its side. And I'm like, whoa. Yeah. <coughs> and then apparently... And then New York... <coughs> Yeah, I believe I believe Unova was based off New York. So pretty much you and I. <laughs> you know our big fucking <laughs> And then uh Kalos was I believe France. Right? France? Or Spain? Yeah, I, I remember seeing an image that there was this little like hint that Scarlet and Violet are apparently like bordering of Kalos. And I'm like because age, uh, some I think it was a driver. Somebody was going over like the map layout and like kind of you know predicting like what certain things will be named and shit like that. But the image that they were showing, if you look up north, it literally says Kalos region. I'm like, that's interesting. But it makes you wonder like, it kind of makes you wonder like, is Scarlet and Violet gonna take place in like? Literally like an IRL neighboring country. Oh yeah, I'm definitely gonna lose this. Yeah. But you know, like that would be cool to me because what we've seen so far, like they're very similar. Like they kind of look a very, very similar. You know, just like the style of clothing, the the architecture of the environment, stuff like that. That would be interesting too if like uh, Nintendo just basically would be like, oh hey, by the way, Scarlet and Violet, you can go over to Kalos. Can you imagine like the head turning, dude? Yeah. And I yeah, would think it, great I great would great think great. if that was to be done, now would be a good time to do it because to, in all actuality, if you pretty much include Kalos in with the new, the incoming gen, you don't really need a remake for Kalos. You know what I mean? Yeah, like no, they they no, might no, chalk no. it up to, to that. I mean as it is, Unova is the oldest one without a remake currently. So they may actually just kinda wing it 
you know what I mean? Which would actually be perfectly fine to me. I mean, if you didn't want to give Kalos a... Well, you fucking kidding me? I didn't even have to face him? Wow. I had a feeling. But let me say this, you should treat your Pokemon better. Yeah, that's why his name is question mark, question mark, question mark. He claims to be the elder, but he is weak. That's because he's not fucking Whitebeard. Yeah. <laughs> right? Question mark using the escape room. Yeah, I didn't even have to face that fucking last asshole. I literally just could have... Hey, you know what? That's kind of an anomaly, though. Oh, I lost to the last optional trainer. Or the, like, the last trainer who's, like, the only one that's optional. <laughs> okay. Man, Gen 2 is fucking weird. Oh, actually, no, I do have to... Okay, okay, I do have to face this fucking egghead. Alright, fair enough. I'm all healed up and whatnot. Sage Lee. Sent out, um, Sex Sprout. Maybe, I mean, it kind of makes sense where all these lonely ass freaking monks just like adore Brow Sprout. I mean, look at it. I mean, I can kind of see why. Oh, I'll call him. Oh, we lost him. Carlos, <laughs> man. Hey, I gotta check the, uh,. <laughs> you fucking indefinitely. These, these sages just like love bell sprout. Look at this. Look. This is why these these men, full grown men, adore bell sprout. Right there. Yep. Gee, I wonder why. Fucking bell sprout. The coup de gras of you know openings. Fucking gibble the zoo, man. I love it. And I love how Bellsprout literally cannot touch me as, as a zoo, You know, unless I run out of fucking PP pee -pee for fucking, you know, leech life. Huh. Like, I'm taking away so much more damage than they're dealing me, it's hysterical. Like, that's real. Did I lose it? Yeah, I did. That's really fucking funny. Poison flying. You can't resist more grass than that. I don't even know like what type of move Leech Life was in Gen 2. Because I think that's one of those moves that kind of like floated in between like different types over the years. Okay, now in this one it's a bug type move. Maybe it was always a bug type move. Maybe I'm thinking of something to else totally different. Uh, well, the grass. I don't know if grass was weak to bug in this game or not. I don't believe it was. I think it was just. Yeah, it was just a normal hit. Because you could go by the sound. Because in Gen 2, like, if something was not very effective, you'd hear, like, the oh, kind of sound. And the super effective was the sound of, like, and obviously this is just... Yeah, that. Yeah. Oh no, Gen 1 was... Leech life. Just like slowly suck the ever-living life out of Bell's bro. Yeah. Fucking 1 HP left. Like, bro, really? It takes like six leech lives to kill this thing. Alright, fine, but... A little bit more would have been a bit better. Alright. Hoot hoot. Yeah, I'm just gonna get Carlos in here to rage at the fucking barn owl. Two 
too. <laughs> yeah, well. yeah, but that's enough. Come back. Yeah, because I remember his hoodoo is actually pretty, pretty decent. Foresight. I mean, even though it's kind of a useless move to use against a water type. But, okay. Alright, Carlos is getting tired of this damn owl. Yo, goddamn fucking hit me in the head! Bitch! Rage! A critical hit. Carlos's rage is building. Rage is building. Oh! Where's he got out of the fuck on me? Yeah, he sure does. No, nope, no, nope, we're just gonna rage the shit out of this weed. Rage, Los, rage! I don't think Rage does the 5 move buff. I think it's only 3. It could be, I don't know. Nah, I think it's just, it, I don't know, Rage is weird. It's not, it's not like, um, it's not like Rock Blast, uh, Ice Ball, Rollout. I don't think it's the same. No, I don't believe it's like the same kind of stats as those. Hello! We do love the flow. But Totodile always had like a decent attack stat anyway, so. You and your Pokemon should have no problem using this move. Take this flash HM. Here we go. Oh. badge from Violet. Ah, okay, so I have to get the Violet City first badge in order to use Flash out in the field. Okay. That's really not a bad deal. Of course, it's been like this in fucking day one anyway, so it kind of makes sense. Alright, so I'm gonna heal. And then... You what?! Nifty. Yeah. Now, I don't know if I... I could... You know what? I could just probably take a couple swings at the gym leader here. Yeah. And then I'll probably end this... Oh fuck, I can't. I dodge him. Now, can I... Oh, first of all, I need to go to the bar. Because what I usually like doing, if I know, for, if I have a strong urge that I'm going to be losing, you know, in a way, yeah, that, that's, you gotta love that too, fucking, oh yeah, let's just show how much 99 of them will, will cost, even though you don't have it. No, actually, I don't want to do that, because I need... That'll be better. That's definitely a better idea. No, I don't have enough money. Just quit asking me. Fucking six Poké Dollars. All right, so if we lose to anybody, if you know, it's gonna be worth it. You paid out six Poké Dollars to the winner. Good. <laughs> Fuck that asshole. No. Yeah, you can't dodge these guys. I always kind of liked how it was like a money symbol. Sign. It asks with the line through. <sighs> Bird Keeper Eba. Abe. 
I can already see Bird Keeper Abe auditioning to be a fucking gym trainer. My name is Bird Keeper Abe, and me and Spiro will like soar through the skies. Ow. Jesus Christ, this is level 9 for you. Um. Carlos might just have to rage the shit out of his bird. Me and my spiral. Scratch the shit out of it. Ooh, critical egg, yeah, better than Carlos. Quit pecking Carlos in the head, bird. I did always like Spearow as a Pokemon, like as opposed to Pidgey. I don't know, dude, just for some reason I always kind of it, like Spearow and Fearow a bit more. But fucking everybody loves Pidgey, Pidgeotto, Pidgeot. Like, nah, how about we show the fucking... You know, if the secondary's a little bit of love. I mean, Fearow's not a terrible Mon either. You know, it's statistically, like, inferior to Pidgeotto and Pidgeot, but... You know, it's a quicker evolution. Spearow evolves at, I believe, level 22. As opposed to Pidgey that evolves at 16 and then 34? Or 32? Uh, the Pidgey line was always unique, but weird at the same time. Because, like, the Taylor line is pretty much just, like, a better Spearow. And then you had Wingle. So I never, I never, I always loved the early bird mods to begin with, but Wingo was definitely a good one. What the hell? Hey, hey! Yeah, hang on. Man, honestly, Spiro is way better than Pidgey. I'm saying, dude, like, Pidgey's Bro, just... I've always used Firo in my once play. Yeah, Firo is definitely, like, a quicker and easier reward. It, and it's still, like, decent. You know, it learns fucking Drill Pack. Pidgeotto and Pidgeot do not learn Drill Pack. Yeah. Of course, they learn Brave Bird, but even still, like, Brave Bird's like an all-or-nothing out move. You know, I mean, you, you, you can't... It's pretty much like a Kamikaze type thing, well... Yeah, Drill Pack's like the most well-rounded... Oh god, yeah, dude. Yeah, it is. Just... Fucking... Yeah, just... It's like one of Zapdos' trademark moves, for Christ's sake. I mean, then you, you know... And Fero's yeah. beak is like the only thing that's like similar to Zapdos' beak. Or like, you know, yeah. say no more. Yeah. Bird Keeper Rod. Rod and Abe. I can, I can picture these two clowns auditioning for you. My name is Bird Keeper Abe. I got me Fero. And my name is Bird Keeper Rod. Like Rodney, but just Rod without the knee. And this is my pigeon. That's the most flying type Pokemon trainer name. Yeah. Rodney, like some head. And Abe. Yeah. Rod Birds. <laughs> fucking bur uh, what is it? Uh, not in aviation. Emporium. Fucking. Oh. He like fucking orange fish bear from John Wick. He's like the pigeon man. He hears everything because the pigeons all fly around. And they come yeah, back like to him. Like Tyson shit. Yeah, dude. No, not even. He's like um, Lawrence Fishburne's character in from John the John Wick movies. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Literally, Abe and Rod in one. Or like Pigeon Man from Hey Arnold. Actually, no. That man is an icon. He is not to be shamed by fucking Rod and Abe. <laughs> I take that back. Dude, I don't know how it took eight generations to finally get a dog type. Okay, you know, Who was it? Wasn't it in uh, Gen? It was, there's a dark gym. I'm I'm actually trying to think of that now because I know. I think it was. I think it's in Gen. Is it? So, it that was, so that's Sword and Shield. Oh yeah. Um. Oh, the fuck I, is I his name? Yeah. It, it's like, it's the guy. How did it's the kid with the skull on his face. Never a gym. Yeah, I, I always call that weird too. And ghost types were kind of overshadowing dark. 
But, but yeah. in Gen 2, you had Ecrotique City, Morty, and then 4, you had Fantina. But you're right, though. There's never even been really a Dark-type gym leader. Oh, yeah, that's what you said, Adam. Yeah, that's strange. I think it is, yeah. But Sword and Shield were weird in the sense that, depending yeah. on the version variant, the gym leaders would be different. Right. Yeah. Like in, in Pokemon Sword, you had the the fighting type gym, as opposed to I think the dark type. I think that was it. Yeah, I can't remember his fucking name. It's the kid that like walks around kind of like T Rexy, with the skull mask. I can't think of his name. I think you are right though, but I can't think of his name. But yeah, eight, eight fucking generations later. No, oh, first dark gym leader. What? I can't think of his name, but I, I I'm pretty sure I don't know who you're talking about. What the hell do I got? What does he have left for XP to level 13? One. What the fuck? I just saw that too. Three. Three to level 13. Thanks, Pierce. Pierce. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm thinking of someone totally different. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. the rocker dude. Yes, yes. I was think I was honestly thinking of somebody totally different. Yeah, dude, fucking sick. I was thinking of someone completely different. Yeah, dude, fucking Pierce. He was um, Mar Mar Marine's Marine's brother. I'm like Marnie, Marnie's brother. I'm like. I love this family. Dude, for real. I remember that now. Pierce was, yeah, Sword and Shield, dude. That guy was a, dude, that guy, that guy is, dude. That's my boy right there. Pierce? Oh, hell yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a sick name, too. Yeah, it is. It really is. It, it's not like a, it's not like Bugsy. You know what I mean? Like, Pierce? Yeah. Solid. And then, and then once again, you had Hop. Oh. Hop. Hop. No, I heard your hop right in the back of the so I, I, I know you stand on Hop. <laughs> I can't get yeah, over I that. Right? Like, I, <laughs> I can't get, I'm just, I'm sorry, I just, I can't get over it. <laughs> Dude, I gotta find that in my stream and just, like, clip it. Oh just my like god. A, I gotta go back in one of those streams and just like clip it and be like, HOP RANT! I, I, I ended up having clips from like the Mario Kart stream that I didn't even realize that, that were made. It was it was strange to me, I'm like, how the hell did these pop up? Wow, nice critical hit. Look at switch. Yeah, I definitely gotta go through some because we had some fucking good, good ass zingers in those. I forgot which. I, I, I think it was when we were doing Emerald Part Two, I believe. Yeah. Carlos is raging out currently. He still doesn't know water gun, but he is trying to rage. Can you imagine like IRL Carlos using water gun? He just like spits loogies at people through a straw. <laughs> oh yeah, dude. Definitely. That is something he would do. Yeah, they spitballs. Yeah, dude, we did that shit as kids all the time too. It was the funniest oh, yeah. shit. Oh, yeah. You know what else we did? I don't know if you guys did it, but like, if we're if we, like, I had a piece of paper and I had to like write down a note or something, I would just use my whoever's in front of me. I put the piece of paper on his back and just start writing. <laughs> There we go, Carlos learned water gun. Yeah, I was actually at my therapy appointment with my buddy Matt, and I was in, uh, they gave me the piece of paper, and Matt was like talking to the receptionist for some reason. And so I just walk up behind him all like nonchalant, put the piece of paper on his back, and start writing down. He's like, are you really using my back as a, as a desk? And I said, yes I am, don't move. <coughs> oh, his Pidgeotto is only at level nine. I, I, keep getting, I keep getting a lot of things confused with uh, the original and the fucking remake. Because I think in the remake he had a Pidgey, a Hoot Hoot, or a beefier Pidgey and a level 13 Pidgeotto, not a level 9. He had a Pidgeotto. Yeah, Whatever. fucking level 9. He didn't have a... Yeah, he didn't have a... He had a... 
No, I, I might be thinking of Hard Gold Soul Silverware. The minus the Hoot Hoot, his Pidgeotto is, I believe, at level 13. I want to say it's at a higher level than this, yeah. Wow, good job, Carlos. Way to just take out the flying chicken. I almost didn't even record this, to be honest with you. I was thinking it'd be a lot more challenging. Faulkner is actually a fucking sick-ass name, too. I always oh, yeah. liked his name. And then the fucking yeah. name of his badge, the Zephyr badge. Oh, fuck yeah. That's kick-ass, dude. Yeah, right there, Zephyr badge. This design's nice, too. It is, yeah. Everything his design is like, very like, nice. Frick. Yeah. And the sprite mimics it perfectly, too. That's that's also what I liked about Gen 2. Like, the sprite wasn't too far off from... Well, the icon sprite wasn't far off from the actual, like, battle sprite. That I like a lot. Yeah. Yeah, the, okay, so we got Flash and Sprout Tower. TM31. Uh, it tells you, by using the TM, you can learn, you can learn, yeah. Contains mud slap. Hmm. It's an overpowered in mystery Yeah, it is. This is kind of an interesting TM to be given to you in a flying gem. <laughs> yeah, like kind of, kind of like the opposite. You know, yeah, like, like a little like, out of place like, there. But dude, I always like mud slap. Just fucking mud shot. Oh my god, dude. Gen 3 mud shot. That's it's like, about, dude, yes, there's dude, nothing like. Yeah, dude, yes, yes. Uh, it's so OP, too, dude. Like, it, it, yeah, you're just gonna whop the shit out of anything, to be honest. Huh? You can use it the whole game. Oh, I think I did, to be honest with you. I think the only thing I've ever swapped out Mudshot for is Muddy Water. That's, like, the only exception. Yeah, yeah, and, and it kind of look it looks funny as opposed to like surf, you know. Here, um, uh, surf is pretty much oh here I'm dumping out the fucking swimming pool onto your head, and m muddy water is here I'm just dumping a fucking outhouse onto you. Yeah. <laughs> like I like the simplicity with moves like that. Okay, all right, we know what it is. You don't have to make it look super fancy, and it looks yeah, no it, different it, from it, surf it, except it, the it, color. It, it, yeah. It, it, Exactly. They don't have to make it look all aesthetically pretty. It's just, oh, it's just surf but diarrhea. Well, essentially. But that's what I like about it. It's it's simple, but you know the difference. Okay, so that is definitely badge number one acquired. <coughs> Fucking Fleming from Cell Damage is right next to me right now. Yeah, I keep going with Z and X for some reason. Yeah, I'll send you those videos of, like, the Pokemon region analysis. Yeah, like, that I... Like, the guy I'm... does. It's actually fucking interesting. He, like, he goes through every town and shit. Oh, man, I didn't know when to fucking... Oh, I think you have to take the egg, actually. Yeah, you do. Yeah. It's a Togepi, right? Yeah, it's a Togepi. That's what I was saying in the beginning. Professor Elm calls you all up in a fucking panic. Oh, this is terrible! Togepi just broke my uh, fucking lab desk! Dude, Professor Elm is like that fucking crazy chick that just won't stop texting Yeah, dude, he is literally a very neurotic, ditzy man. <laughs> he's he's an he's a absolute basket case. Poison Cure. Paralyzed Careberry. I fucking love the names. Purse Careberry. Wait, look at that. Purse. <laughs> Like paralyzed? No, purrs! <laughs> ah, shit. Yeah, I love it. Now, where am I now? Of course, you can't read a sign from the side. Mm -hmm. Route 32, Violet City, Azalea Town. Can I read it from the side? Yeah, cool. That's fucking funny. Now, I know this asshole was the one that said, oh, hey, you can't pass right now. I fucking loved when I was able to um, walk through walls in certain games and like completely bypass people who would like block my path. Oh yeah. Dude, it was the funniest shit. I'm like, fuck you, bitch! 
this is what I, but this is what action replay is for. And he's like, if you could just picture the sprite being programmed to do something, it's just like, like has no idea how to react. But I've noticed that if you like go back, it, it, the sprite will kind of like go around you and push you from like where you're standing. Then the game recognizes you're past it, but you know you're parallel to it, but you're not past it, so it kind of like fucks with it a little bit. I think it's the funniest shit. Right. Because there's a guy in Mahogany Town that sells you the Rage candy bars, and he's like, "You're not supposed to go past this point right now." <laughs> That big yeah. fucking fat guy, too. What's interesting about the Rage Candy Bars, I've noticed, like, especially with obscure items in Pokemon, like, you can only buy the Rage Candy Bar from this NPC when the N when the NPC is there, and I think once you clear out Rocket, he's not there anymore. Right, so it's like a limited. Yeah, like, well, kind of, like, if you have the money for it, you can just keep buying him and buying him, but at some point when you actually progress in the game, he's gone. So I always thought that was really like kind of interesting, and, and I know what the other future games have the programming and coding to like acknowledge the item itself. Like if you have like the shallow or sable from Kalos, is you can it can be implemented into Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, and the lava cookie can also be in uh, X and Y. So that's kind of interesting how they kind of all have the coding for it. But there's no practical way to get the item. Right, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's weird how they do that. Yeah. I'm gonna try out Mud Slap with Misty. Throw your poop at the rat. Beautiful. Oh, nice first crit. But Ta's accuracy, though. Keep throwing poop at him! <laughs> I love that. I mean, did that even damage him? It didn't even look like a move. <laughs> Tail whip mess, I love it. Yeah, it's just a slow chip. Yeah, Mud Slap is actually pretty damn good considering it. it's pretty much just like a like a soft whack uh, supersonic. No, no, not that. Uh, smoke screen. It's like smoke yeah. screen but with some damage. I love how it looks. Accuracy moves for the most part. Yeah, especially in Gen 2, dude, accuracy was pretty much everything. Oh, fuck like, yeah. if your accuracy fell in Gen 2, you were fucked. Unless you could switch out, you were fucked. You're fucking kicking a bunch of shit in his face, I love it. But I'm, I am I actually want uh, switching to Gibble, because I'm at like 2 health. And with my fucking luck. Yeah, dude, I love it. <laughs> like, one just, like, kicking shit in the face, the other just growling at him. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking rat is trying to whack his ass at me, and I'm just like, fuck you. <laughs> I love it. Sucked health from enemy Rattata. I always loved how Callum used to say Rattata, dude, in his streams. He'd go, Rattata. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, I, I love it, yeah, dude. Yeah, they, they can't pronounce, like, the other yeah, it's fucky. Like, Rata. Yeah, dude, it's really fucky. It's Rata. Yeah, Rata. I love it. Or battery. Here we go. Battery. 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 Yeah. Or battle would be bottle. Yeah. I Rata. fucking love that. <laughs> yes, dude. Yeah. Yes. We're going to show them bottle. I'm like, yes. Oh, he's got a zoo bat too. Shit. Um. Switch with. Um, a little racy over here. Carlos loves raging at bats. Carlos pretty much loves raging at anything. You know what's funny? One night, like, a year and a half, two years ago, or whatever, I was just having a little shit downstairs, I was looking out. Yeah. And I fucking looked in the corner, like, I don't know how to describe, like, the room downstairs, but there's, like, kind of, like, dents in the wall, like, kind of, like, where you put drawers and stuff, there's a few of them. Yeah. But there's no drawers there, like, but we kind of had to walk. And I had to build something in like on the ground in the corner. Mm. And I looked, it was a fucking back. Wow. Yeah. But it was dead. So, like the back got it must have came because there's a door downstairs. Like, it was like our backyard. Yeah. So like maybe one time I opened the door coming out 
was like coming inside from outside in a fucking fat fluid. Probably, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. He was dead on the ground, like in the corner. That's kind of metal, though. Like a fucking zoo back in here. Like, <laughs> Yo, yeah. Dude, <laughs> 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 like random, random as hell, though, too. Like, but he, the weird thing is, we never noticed him like when he was alive. Well, like you didn't hear it flutter in or nothing. Like it didn't like fly around and kind of like hit hit shit to escape. That that is weird. Usually they're very panicky and shit, like a yeah, bird. Yeah, like that's, that's what I was thinking. Cause like whenever a bird flies in someone's house or something, they oh yeah, you know. Like, yeah. We never even noticed until it was on the ground in the in the basement. That's interesting. And I was like, okay, well, back <laughs> All right then, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My grandfather taught me this funny shit thing that you could do to fuck with bats. Like if you stand outside and it's, um, I believe they come out at like dusk and dawn, right? So if you go out, if you go out and you see them flying around, they're like going up after little gnats and bugs and shit. So what you can do is you can walk outside and you can grab like a very small pebble or, you know, anything kind of like small, like maybe even a penny, but usually a round small pebble works the best. So you throw it up as they're flying around, and because they have sonar, they'll, they'll hear, they'll pretty yeah. much sense something in the air and think, oh, a bug. So you could watch them grab the little pebble, and then shortly after, they'll drop it, and they'll drop it someplace random. And, he, and my grandpa told me that I was a kid, I'm like, I always thought that was the funniest little, like, thing to screw around with bats with. You know what I mean? Because it's cool. Exactly, and I mean, it's totally harmless, and it's fucking funny. Yeah. Dude, I'll never forget they're that shit. Animals, though, huh? They're, fu they're cool animals. They really are, dude. They Not really fucking are. Yeah. And they get a lot of unique characteristics to them in itself, especially with the sonar thing. That shit's killer. Yeah, the echolocation. Yes, yes, more specific. Yes, echolocation. Yeah, who the heck is this guy? How would you like to have this? Tasty, nutritious, slow poke. Oh, this one's a rocket guy. Yeah, just for one million poke. Oh, so this is the asshole who wanted to sell me a bike in Gen 1. Got it. You want this now? Can I select now? Oh, well, yeah. But I mean, like, at least he was like, yo, like, eh, it's a little expensive, but it's reasonable, you know? I'm not gonna charge a milli for a fucking. Yeah, yeah, like, dude. Millie for a penny. Yeah. I mean, Millie for a Gary? Okay. But a fucking magic cup? Get the fuck out of here, dude. If I can reach level 19 with like 3 AXP left, and then we can talk. Yeah, fucking Carlos once again gets screwed by the game. Level up to level 14. Six. Like, he just can't catch a break. The last level up, he, he needed three. Now he needs six. Man, I always love the the menu screens in Gen 2 as well. Like this, this oh, yeah. menu screen is just—it's yeah. so simple, so bare bones, but mm -hmm. it's pretty. It's it straightforward. But it looks good too. Like, oh yeah, dude, it's beautiful. I mean, everything—you know—it's simple. The too, right? it, and the colors, the, the colors are the big catch too. Like everything just works. Exactly. I mean, you know, scroll over, boom. Very simple, straightforward to the point. You know, you don't have a bunch of googly gaga. You have fucking stats, moves, uh, um, stats. Fucking perfect. Or actually, information, moves, stats. You don't need anything else, and it was it was perfect. And then you know this fucking breakfast. Lunch and dinner. I mean, what made, um, uh, like, Toted Isle for Alligator so much better, too, in uh, the remakes was how 4th Gen did the physical special split. So Ice Punch mm. and Waterfall were physical. Yes. Right? Yeah. For Alligator is a physical, more physical, right? It is, yeah, it's an attacker. So, like, but in, in the games you're playing, right, it, the split wasn't there, so Water mm. Tank like Waterfall and that, or, Ice punch and stuff are, they're special, right? Yeah. But in 4th gen, they're physical, right? Because they're actual physical boots, even though, you know, they're ice and water tight. Right. So, like, for Alligator, got like a huge bump. Oh, yeah, dude. Because he's 
more physically based, right? Like it's not. Oh god, yeah. Fuck, oh, man, I don't think, dude, man, like, Kanto oh, starters, shit. Johto starters, Homan starters, Sinnoh starters, top tier. Yeah. Top tier. I always liked um, Infernape. Like I was, I would, I would, I would hardly ever choose a fire type starter. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. As a rule, they were. I think there were like six. There were hardly any at all. I remember that now. Yeah. Yep. But in Diamond and Pearl, I think the only fire type you could basically get, like, easy, was, uh, Rapidash. Yeah. The only other one was, like, that Order, but, like... Yeah, you had to go through a bit for him, yeah. I think you're right. And I also think Magni, like, I forget even if you could catch Magni, or it was, like, hard as fuck. I don't mind if you could catch Magni, like, relatively, like, not too hard. Like Diamond Pro was basically Robin. That was it. Yeah, all Pokemon Diamond Dash. Yeah. So like, you know, like why choose like the other starters? Yeah, that, with that being, yeah, exactly. You know what I like, didn't find out that was. Yeah. Empoleon, the only water steel type. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. It is the only yeah. tree of Piplup, Piplup, yeah. and Empoleon. Yeah. Top yeah. Top oh God, yeah, dude. You know? But that's the thing. Like, if they if they had more fire types. I think more people would have went with other, the other starters. Yeah, probably, yeah. You know? Yeah. Well, it's just because there's, like, lack of fire types. You're obviously going to go for, like, the kick-ass new fire starter. Especially yeah, when there's, like... Yeah, that's so OP, like... Yeah. The stats are amazing. Like, like why wouldn't you choose them, you know? Exactly, yeah. I never really went... I was never... I never really went with fire type starters. Mainly because I... The, typic, the trend is usually, like, the first one to two gyms are like not type friendly to it yeah so i would always usually go with water or grass <laughs> but i remember i remember reading an interesting fact about ice types there is only a total of i believe less than 50 ice types in all of pokemon that's crazy i thought yeah dude i thought that was really no, yeah, but they're not rock though. Rock. Like, it's not like they're like. They're not trash. Overpowered type. Yeah. You know, like they're kind of. I think they have the most weaknesses. Don't they? Don't they have the most weaknesses in the game? No, I believe like, rock like, does. Or something like that. I think rock does, to be honest with you. Yeah, it's like like ice is weak to what? Like fire. Fire. Rock. Fighting. Rock, fighting. I yeah, I think that's the only three. I could be wrong on that though. Right, I don't, I'm not sure. But Rock is pretty yeah, much. It up. We'll yeah, I, I would, yeah. I want to see. Let me see. Uh, let's search it up. Yeah, I do know that there's only the, 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 the least amount of Pokemon are Ice types, and I'm like, that's fucking bizarre to me. Because Ice types are fucking slept on, dude. Because Ice types are kick ass. Especially the oh, designs yeah. of a lot of them, dude. Fucking. Even Delibird is a. You know, for what it, the concept of it is, beautiful design. Obscure Mon, but solid design. And then you have Glalie, Swinub. I, 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 I love a oh, lot of ice Steel types. as well. Steel, okay, thank you, yeah. Yeah, so it's four. Yeah, yeah. So you're right about the first, yeah, the steel as well. The steel I totally four. forgot about, yeah. yeah but I would, but a Rock... Yeah, oh god, yeah, it's got like six, I think. It's been, yeah, and then like when you dual, water, yeah, and then when you dual type it with ground, pfft. Oh, oh my god. Yeah, it's not even fair. But they, but they also, see, I feel like Rock is also like pretty well balanced for the most part. I mean, it's got a shitload of weaknesses, but a lot of like strong types are weak against to it. You know what I mean? Pretty good defensive stats. Yeah, they do. Just to balance it out. But I, I love the image I saw on YouTube and somebody posted like rock types in a nutshell. Rocks here we have rocks oh, with grass, legs. Grass has the most weaknesses, rock has the second most weaknesses. So grass is really Yeah, grass so I just, like, does. Up what type has the most It's grass. One is number grass That's Three interesting. Is, like, so it's grass, rock, ice. So the top three. Wow. Let me see what weaknesses grass has. Grass has the most weaknesses. Yeah. Like, 
Uh, fire, fire, bug, poison, ice, and uh, flying. I know, though, yeah, for sure. There might be another one I'm missing, though. Let me see. Hold on. I would have not have guessed it was grass. Oh, and poison as well. Poison, yeah. I said poison. Poison, flying, bug, fire, and uh, flying. So that's five right yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no shit. That makes sense now. Yeah, bug, fire, flying, ice. You know what, you know what, dark type, dude, dark type was always interesting to me because of what it's weak against. Fucking yeah. bug. Yeah, I know, it's interesting. It's very, very, because bug types are traditionally, like, not very, like, competitive. But I, but some of my favorite Pokemon are bug types, like Galvantula and Scolipede. And they have some of the coolest designs. They do. They really yeah. fucking do, dude. And I fucking love the Venipede line, the Joltic line. It, it just, for whatever reason, those are my two favorite yeah. bug types. I don't even know what my favorite type is, to be honest. Like, I really don't even it. have one. I have like types that I like, and I, yeah, I, I, no, I actually don't it's like. like it's like for me, it's like it's like uh, like music, like yeah. It's like people are like, oh, I like this band or whatever. It's like for me, it's like I like music. Or like I like I like this album. Yeah. So for me, it's like I like songs. Like I'm not really like, oh, I like this fucking album. And stuff. Yeah. Like, like, unless every song is good on it, like I'm just I'm more like yeah. I like this song, that song. Particular, song, yes. You know? Yes. Like when someone's asked me, like, oh, like, what's your favorite album of this band or whatever, it's like, like I don't know, I just, I, I just like songs, you know? Like, you I like music, yes. You're a fan like, of music. Like, I don't, I don't, like, associate, like, the whole album right. as a favorite, like, you know, like, I'm more of, like, I, I remember the songs, right? Exactly. Like, I pick and choose the stuff, like, that's what comes to my mind, it's like, oh, like, I love this song, that song, it's not like, oh, I love this album. Exactly, yeah. Alright, I'm actually gonna load, um... Oh shit, I, I don't actually remember how you save a state in BGB. Oh. Do you know how to save state in this emulator? What emulator are you using? BGB, it's an old one. Oh, I've never used it. Oh shit. I've never, yeah, I, I, I always used VBA, so... Oh, I didn't even know you could use VBA for Game Boy Color. Shit. Um, yeah, because yeah. I had this emulator yeah, for a long I, time. I didn't even know there was. <laughs> I didn't even know that an emulator. Yeah, dude, it's it's really old. It's an old school one. Search it up on Google. Quick. Yeah, I'm gonna have to because I want to I want to save this progress. No, I don't. Oh yeah. I don't know if I can, to be honest with you. Like, there's... Uh, I saved it in in-game, yeah, but I'm not... Because there's a readme, I guess. Let me open up the readme. BGB notepad. I mean, I don't... It just, this doesn't make any sense to me. Why are you like, the actual save won't work? I just in-game saved, yeah, but let me, you know, let me X out of it, worst comes to worst, I just, you know, which is fine with me, but I know they are designed, you know what, let me open up another window, like another BGB, load the ROM, oh wait a minute, state, 
Okay, hang on. Right click on it. For whatever reason, it's not letting me select the right click it. Oh shit, hang on. Open up another BGB. Load ROM. I'm just gonna load it twice and see if that did anything. Quick load. Oh, apparently I... It, it saved in Dark Cave. But way... Load state. Ah, no. It'll only take me back to... Dark Cave for some reason. I don't understand. Yeah, because this one... The other one is allowing me to right-click. But this one, for whatever reason, is not allowing me to right-click. That's very weird to me. Hmm. Yeah, see, now I have the second one up. You see that? Because there's this one. Alright, there's this one. So if I move this up and... There's two of them open now. Hang on. Okay, so... Yeah, there's that one, right? And I'll minimize it. And bring up the other one. I lost the other one. So that's weird to me that it's... Huh. That's very strange to me. Yeah, let me just close it out. Close it out. Open it up. Uh, load ROM. Load silver up. Load. Uh, quick load. Yeah. It's only gonna bring me back to here. You know what, to be honest, I don't even mind. That's. It's better than having to start the entire game over again. I just don't exactly. I don't understand why it would not. Yeah, now I saved it. Must have been like an, an error click, because I remember when the big update screen came up early on, but for whatever reason, like, I couldn't... I had a drop-down menu here, which is how, like, you save and everything, and I couldn't get out of it, and it didn't even... Yeah, it, it was all glitchy and fucky. Alright, so I don't even mind. Like, that's... I just gotta do Sprout Tower again in the gym. Fine. If that's all I need to do again, fine. So, I will actually get to that next time I stream this. Thank you all for coming out, and I hope you enjoyed. There we go. Peace!